thank you for clicking on the video this is another review for power book 2 ghost season 4 episode 2 to thine own self be true why didn't add that on the end that's the quote to thine own self be true anyway michael detective carter ely michael <laughs> detective michael ely carter what we going what we going to call uh, michael ely detective ely carter Carter Ely. I like Ely Carter. Detective Ely Carter. He on the case. Um, we're not buying Tariq's story straight away. Um, Ely Carter say he gonna, he, he's on he's the lead on the case and so he gonna figure it out. Tariq and Brayden, they arguing over the temperature in their room. Um, they on camp they back on campus now, going to classes, business as usual. They both need a plan, they're broke. Okay, they, they need to figure out how they're going to make some money, but they have to live this regular college life. So that means work, study, you know, all that. So Tariq so got three jobs. I said, damn, how you managed to get three? On my campus, do you realize how hard it was for to get a work, study job? You, The people was on waiting lists for a work, study job. <laughs> and they just giving out three, four, five of them. That's not, see, that's not down to the HBCU. That's why. Um... Drew and Kane, they out beating people up, trying to figure out who 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 killed Monet. Diana, she we see her at the bodega buying a pregnancy test. Effie, she's on the computer, you know, looking into the um, engineering program. Her her professor Chin, Professor Chin, walk up, gasses her up. You know, you should you should apply. Oh my God, you'd be perfect for it. Go ahead, girl, do it. Um, Brayden. He, um, he's like walking past his house, but he see they, listen, whole family moving out, everybody moving. At first I thought they was moving out, braiding stuff, but no, the whole family is moving. They had to give up the brownstone. Um, Monet and Maya Wilkes, Maya Wilkes is her sister. Um, she's like, you know, been helping her with her, um, her therapy and getting back on her feet and all of that. Um, Noma. She feels like she done found her another way, another, another, <laughs> found another market. And Obi, of course, he don't agree, but he's going to go along reluctantly. She tells him that they need to set up a meeting with the Russians. He say he'll do his best. Um, she got questions about them green cards as well that he's obtained. You know, listen, you over here getting green cards. Don't let none of that shit get in the way of my business and what I got planned to do. Word. Got it. <laughs> um davis he's uh lifting some weights or whatever and um one of his attorneys on staff they want to know when they're gonna get be getting paid of course he say listen that depends on you these charges against me he got all these charges he under investigation but she really thinks she thinks that he has a shot <laughs> she thinks that you know maybe maybe this will blow over i think he might win um, before she leaves though, he has to, you know, knock her down because she's also his, she's his attorney and also they, they smash from time to time. It's Method Man. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> um, Monet and the kids are at the house. Maya Wilkes, she got to be excused when they start talking drug business and she might want, I, I'd be leaving too. Listen, plausible deniability. I don't, I ain't heard nothing. I ain't been privy to no conversations. None of that. Um, they tell me to leave the room. So I leave the room. <laughs> Kane, he ain't really taking the truth as it is. He's like, y'all said it wasn't Tariq, but I ain't really buying that. I don't really believe that. Um, Monet doesn't believe it's Tariq either, but y'all need to figure out who it was. Um, they changed subjects to the Russians and, and Russians working with Noma. And Monet like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. That mean I'm out. No, nah, can't do that. Won't be having any of that. She's trying to get up and everything. Girl, sit down. <laughs> the kids, we have to do a whole classroom situation. You know, we the kids are in class. The professor poses poses a question. We got to go around. The whole topic pertains to what's happening um, in the episode. After class, um, Effie want to talk to Tariq. And she like... I know you're mad at me, but I made it up to you. I told, I told you about Kane. Girl, get out of my face. 
you made it up to me. Like that's just, like it's all supposed to be good now. Please. <laughs> she really was like, so we good now? He was like, fuck no. <laughs> no. Absolutely not, girl. Please, are we good? No, bitch. Diana comes out as Tariq is walking away. And Effie tells Diana, you know, meet me later so we can talk. Um, Davis Method Man, he is temporarily suspended pending his disbarment hearing. He gets home and um, Detective Ely, uh, Ely Carter is in his office. You know, he and he thinks he's so scary. Please go head on somewhere. <laughs> so I'm like, I got a proposal, an opportunity for you to practice law again. Um, he said, nobody would need to know that you a snitch. <laughs> But go ahead and, you know, let me know where Tariq is. Let me know what's going on. He got friends down at the Bar Association. And Davis is like, please get off my doorstep. <laughs> I ain't helping none of y'all. Um, Diana and Effie, they meet up and they talk about um, the product that still needs to be moved for Noma. And Diana's like, listen, I need more time. Effie ain't empathetic at all. She like, listen, you can get that shit together because with Noma is you're in or you're out with a bullet. <laughs> Effie, she drops in on Noma. Um, she want a bigger cut. And Noma is like, girl, please. Effie say, I can get you some more business, you know. I can let me go meet up with the Russians. And Noma's like, I give you 24 hours. I give you 24 hours to do it. Back at the house, um, Monet and Maya, they talking about the past and you know, we 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 get a flashback. Um when I say that young Monet is a spot, y'all did that. The casting. I thought I was looking at a young Mary J. Blige. That girl looked just like her. Go ahead, casting casting folks. <laughs> Go right, listen, because sometimes it'd be off. Now it was now now that didn't really look like no young Lorenzo. But young, uh, what's the face? Young Monet, that's her. That's her. Um, Effie, she meets with the Russians. Um, and it, it's like, some of this stuff, be so, I really have to stay in the power universe and, and not, in reality, because some of this, some of this stuff is just like, yeah, right. Yeah, she would have really rolled up on them people. Okay. <laughs> um, she talks, you know, talks her shit, talking about her hacking skills. And she pulls out her phone, shows him a picture of he and his daughter and all of that. She offers him um, an incentive, if you know, for meeting up with Noma. He said, I already told Noma no. Effie is like, well... Isn't your daughter into swimming? Like I could change her scores. I can make her look real good so she gets into Princeton because I know you wanted to go to Princeton. Um, and he's like, oh, you know, I, I'll oblige. Brayden and Tariq, they're out at this. I don't know if it's an open mic night or what. Anyway, Brayden introduces himself to the girl that was singing. You know, he's flirting with her. Um, then Detective uh, Ely Carter. He just pops up out of nowhere talking about they need to talk. He asks Tariq, pulls him to the to the side, you know. Um, Tariq is like, you guys have any leads on that shooting? <laughs> and Mike, I mean, and Ely, Ely Carter is like, don't, listen, let's not pussyfoot around. I already know you did it. You know, it, it, it really ain't no need in all of that. He all in his face with threats and all of that. <sighs> Tariq ain't bothered. He's like, it's, it's good. Keeping your breathing down, your heart rate down. You're a good liar. I've probably been like, and is. And what you want to talk about then? <laughs> and what else? And what about it? Nobody's scared of you, Ely Carter. Anyway. Um, oh, and then he was talking about ghosts. I said, uh-uh. <laughs> That's what we're not going to do. We're not going to bad mouth ghosts. Not going to bad mouth James St. Patrick on any day. Bitch. You smell just like your sorry ass daddy. Sir, do you want me to... Do you want a bullet in your ass? <laughs> um, Tariq ain't worried about, about Ely Carter. You know, and his little threats. Please back up. Tariq, as Tariq is walking away, 
he gonna throw out there that Tasha is about to get put out of uh, witness protection. And she gonna be back in the streets in no time and dead when the folks find out. Threatening that boy mama. Monet, she hobbles her ass out there to meet with Noma. And um, Noma, when she sees you, she basically is almost like, girl, you fucking up the thing. Would you get back in your car? Get back in your car. Because they all, everybody pull up at the same time. Um, the Russians, they come out. They think it's a setup. You know, they're with Effie. Everybody got their guns out. <sighs> Monet took some pain relievers before she left the house. Some things kicked in right when she was out there. She was down, <laughs> out for the count. The drugs had just kicked in, and she was just down, okay? Tariq calls Davis to ask about um, Ely Carter. Should I be worried? You know, and Davis is like, you might want to be. He wanted them. He wanted them on a mission, kind of cops. You know, so you might want to. You might want to watch your back. His wife was killed outside um, the hospital that she worked at. It was some drug dealers trying to finish the job, you know. And she, she was, she was caught. She, she caught a stray bullet. I guess she was just out there. And um, so he's had a vendetta with all the drug dealers, all of them. He ain't got no, he ain't got no sympathy for dope boys. Um, so he ain't like Saxon and watch your back. <clears throat> Effie, she taking Monet home again. Monet is sleeping and dreaming about the, the good old days. Um, in this particular uh, dream, she and her sister were riding and they got pulled over. And young Monet had a gun in the car and all of that. And of course, when she gets home, Lorenzo got a problem with her having the baby with her. And and they the baby was baby Lorenzo. It was um baby Lorenzo is Kane, right? Yeah, it was Kane. Um, but yeah, he was pissed. Don't be don't be mixing the kids with this shit. It will not end well. And so this is when we see that Lorenzo has not been, has been team keep these kids out of it since the beginning. And she's been the one that's been using them. Sorry ass. Yeah, you ain't shit. You ain't. <laughs> that's, that's some sorry parenting right there, Monet. She wakes up to the, uh, with the kids, you know, by her side. Kane is upset. You know, what was you thinking being out there like that? You know, listen, the game ain't what it used to be. It's time that you just accept that. Monet tells him to get the fuck out. She gives Drew and Diana this little pep talk. You know, now she don't trust Kane. And girl, it wasn't Kane that tried to kill you. Anyway, Tariq, he pops up on Tasha at her job. Um, Tasha, she was so pregnant. <laughs> these, these, these um television shows really tickle me when they try to <clears throat> hide pregnancy. It's always so obvious. The person be standing up and the and I'm fine, I'm about to do it. The person be standing up and you gotta put something right here so that it look like But the people they be looking so bloated. She looking so pregnant. Pregnant in the face, just the whole pregnancy glow. <clears throat> anyway, um she at work and um Tariq go up in there, you know, asking questions, you know, telling her you know, her, she about to get kicked out. And she's like, yeah, they don't appreciate me going in my A. You know, listen, I can't let that shit happen again. <laughs> Tariq tells her to stay put. She tell He tells her about uh, Detective Ely Carter and the fact that he ain't letting up. Tasha's supervisor get to walking up all in their business, you know, trying to scoot her back to where she's supposed to be, I guess. And he put his arm around her. It was giving unwanted touches. And she's like, please, uh, we've talked about this. I'll be back over there in a minute, okay, honey? <laughs> of course, Tariq already is like, fuck, you don't never let no motherfucker talk to you like that. He putting his hands on you? Tariq gonna get him. Um, Tasha, she don't, she, you know, she don't have time, so they, 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 they go ahead and end that conversation. Um, Kane, I mean, excuse me, when he went outside, Cause I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wrap that up. He went outside. That man, <laughs> that man that was bothering Tasha, he strong armed him outside in that parking lot, kicked him around, beat his ass a little bit, told him, "You put your hands on my mama again. I'ma send some gangsters around your motherfucking house. We'll set this bitch off. Okay? They call me bad ass, and I'll punish you. You ain't my equal. We ain't people. I ain't one of you. Since night I ate, I grabbed my plate up off the lunch table." 
You want some gangsters to front your motherfucking house? Well, set this bitch off. Set this bitch off. That's my song, if you can't tell. <laughs> if you didn't know. Um... I don't think we're gonna have any problems from that man because cause 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 Tariq got it. He got it. He got it. He got it. Um Kane meets up with Noma. Oh they done fucked up the thing, so we got to get in we got to get in that ass, Kane. <laughs> Cause your mama came around there and messed it up. Um she want Kane to get the rushes back to the table. Kane is like, listen, they gonna shoot my ass the minute they see me cause of what cause of what Monet just did. Um no, I'm going to tell something to figure it out. Figure it out. <laughs> he calls Effie because she going to figure it out. <laughs> he knows that they sweet on the girl. And so um, Effie, at first, you know, she's giving pushback like, no, nah, that I done did my part. I got an interview at school. I'm done. Can't give her the sad voice. Okay, you're right. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Niggas know how to really do that, don't they? Okay, I'll figure it out. <laughs> she changed her tune now. Now she going to help him because she got to. Um, Tariq, oh, I already, I already talked about him running down on that man. Anyway, Diana, she took the pregnancy test. She's pregnant. Now, who's the baby daddy? Because we saw her lose her virginity to that boy. And we also saw her, or did she lose her virginity to Tariq? She had sex with that boy, that, that whole tip nigga that was trying to change her. That was trying to come in and he was talking bad mouth for her mama and her daddy and her family. Him. I think that's the baby daddy. I done forgot his name. <laughs> Damn, Diana. Anyway, um, Drew, he he's dope no Monet, you know. Um, she talking to him, basically like trying to justify why she's had to be why she's had to be such a savage. <laughs> why she's had to be so tough on them. And don't do nothing but trigger Drew. Um, he goes to get her meds and he about to do something to him. <laughs> I don't know whether he was going to mix some stuff up, give her some type of concoction. He was going to recalibrate the meds for sure. Um, and he was going to take her out. Diana stops him, you know, just at the nick of time. <laughs> um, while they were talking, though, you know, about how ain't shit they mama is, she was... Standing outside the door listening. She didn't hear the fact that he was about to try to kill her. But she did hear where they got their grievances. So it's making her feel bad. Um, Tariq, he out riding. His car break down. He calls Brayden. Brayden don't answer. <laughs> Effie and Kane, they go see the Russians again. Um, Effie, she shows them some guns that Noma is offering. Now he's willing to hear them out. But from now on, they only want to talk to Effie. Brayden finally shows up to get Tariq. Um, Tariq wants to go and help Tasha. Brayden is like, we don't know. You, you know, when they, they when they get together, they have to have this come to Jesus. Like, what, what have we gotten ourselves into? All of that. Um, Brayden kind of feels bad for his family. You know, they lost the brownstone. Tariq, he's like, listen, um, I think we need to go on and get back in the drug business. I think it's time to get back in. We need some real money. They, they they got real problems, and they need some real money. Brayden, of course, is apprehensive at first, but you know he down. He going to ride. You know, he, it don't take long to convince him. Say less. I'm in. <laughs> Fuck all them people. Please. Because they like, because he was like, what about the Tejadas? Fuck the Tejadas. Fuck them folk. Brayden say, you know what? Say less. I'm in. I'm in. So now they back in the drug game. Never mind what Noma said. Never mind none of that. They in. Maya Wilkes is vacuuming for Monet, and Monet coming there, you know, asking, "Did I ruin my kids, girl? Yeah, you know you did." <laughs> Maya say, "I don't listen. Ask, ask your kids, okay? Ask them." Um, Drew is standing there, and um, she asked him. First, she asked any leads on who shot her. You know, he's like, "They're still working on it." Um, but she asked him, you know, "Did I, did I lose my kids for good? Did I ruin them?" And Drew is like. At least you ask. And that's it. <laughs> at least you're asking. I guess that's his first step. Um, Diana, she's at the, the doctor's office. You know, you have to, once you get that pregnancy test, you need to go and check for sure. <laughs> and so she went, she's doing this double check. She is indeed pregnant, in fact. Um, the doctor, 
And see, I went to the, the place I went to was very Christian based. And so they were very much like, please don't get an abortion. Don't do it. Let's give you this pamphlet on motherhood and all of that. I was a, I'm, I was a married woman. And so it wasn't no need for all that. I wasn't no teenager that needed to make a hard decision. Because <laughs> they were really worried about it. And I'm just like, I just want to. I, I'm here for a proof of pregnancy. That's what I need. That's what I need so I can go get this Medicaid <laughs> and these food stamps. Because, listen, <laughs> when they find out, <laughs> when they find out that I can buy my own groceries, that's it. <laughs> so, I need you to go on and run me that proof of pregnancy. So, that's why she had to play so she can get her proof of pregnancy. The lady is telling her, you know, she likes to tell young girls, you know, um, basically, She's letting her know you have a choice, you know, and I need you to make the choice wisely. What is this child? What you going to be bringing this child into? Is it, a, is it a safe environment? Is it, do you got some money? Is the daddy around? You know, all those things. You, you need to take all of that in, into consideration before you just have a baby, um, which is very true. But it was making Diana feel triggered. She was, <laughs> she, I don't know whether it was hitting a nerve or what. But she felt slighted by what the lady was saying. She had a little tone. It was giving a little microaggression. But I mean, still, you need to hear that. You need to hear that. Um, Noma, she mean when Kane. Hobie wants to take over. I feel like he, he's feeling a little bit like he might be getting pushed out. Because she be dismissing him left and right. Um, back to Kane. So tell me why, why we should sell guns to the very people that want your mother dead. And... They're going to talk it over over some scotch. Tariq and Brayden, I don't know how they found 2-Bit, but they, they, they done found 2-Bit. They found 2-Bit, and Tariq going to steal his car back. And so there's that. He steals his Porsche back, and Tariq rides off. Again, we're in the power universe. Something is, it's either this little bang that keep, oh no, there it was. It was an eyelash. Because I'm like, uh-uh. Anyway, um, Detective Ely Carter, he runs down on Obi. I know about that green card, you guys. Funny how you got that so fast. Yeah, go ahead and turn around. Put these cuffs on them and take them on down to the station. I'm like, you ain't going to ask no questions, Obi. Were you being arrested? Like, what we doing? <laughs> These TV cops really be thinking they can just roll up on you wherever you are and be like, hey, get in my car. We going. No. Do you have a warrant? I ain't going nowhere with you. <laughs> Please. Anyway, um, Monet, she meets up with her son, Tariq. You know, that's her bonus child. She meets up with Tariq. They both like, I got my gun. I'm going to keep it on me because I don't really trust you like that. And she's like, I got mine too. Come on, get in this car. So they get in, he get in the car and she comes clean. You know, she's like, listen, I know my kids ain't looking for that shooter. Um, Tariq didn't do it. She know he ain't having nothing to do with it. They kind of swap notes back and forth. And he tells her about Tommy's mama giving some information to this redheaded woman about Tasha and her whereabouts and trying to get Tasha. It was, it was, it was the dots was connecting for Monet. She's like, Redhead woman. Who the fuck is who who who? What's Tommy's mama name? Karen? Jody? What's her name? Kathy? Karen? Kathy? <laughs> I think it's Kathy Egan. Karen Egan. No, it ain't Karen. I think it's Kathy. Anyway, his mama. She don't even know her. She's like, who is that? He like, I don't know. I thought you knew. She said you the redhead woman. Diana girl. Diana. She really impersonated you, girl. She did it. She set the whole thing up. She about to find out. She about to find out. <laughs> she about to find out it was Diana. Anyway, to be continued, um, I enjoyed this episode. I didn't even get to sip my wine while I was. Oh, wait a minute. I got to make sure. Oh, okay, I got to make sure I keep track of the time because TJ and E didn't do tutoring on Tuesdays. And so. We're about to get that. We're about to get that going in about 1.30. So let me get off of here. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's Call Me Busby, and I'll chat with you later. Oh, it's a shameless plug, um, my man. 
my man works two jobs. My man got two jobs. <laughs> my man got a business. And um, I'm just get doing a shameless plug. Knock, nail on the head, renovation pros. Call us for junk removal, for handyman services, you know, all of the things. Painting, exterior, interior, pressure washing. Yeah. www.noth, capital N-O-T-H, renovationpros.com. Okay, I'll see you there. All right. Bye. Peace and light.